Hi, and welcome to Level Up From Zero, the fundamentals series where we show you how to get started with Google Cloud Platform hands-on. In this episode, I'll cover some things that you may want to handle before your company starts using Google Cloud, like setting up a domain, initializing cloud identity, and creating your GCP super administrator account. Throughout this video series, I'm going to refer to your company, but the same principles apply if you're a startup or an organization like a nonprofit or university. Many of you may have already tried out GCP with a free trial using your own personal Gmail account, but for company-wide usage, you're probably going to want something more organized. We suggest you use your own domain name for accounts and use an identity directory to keep your users and permissions organized. If you already have a domain you'd like to use with Google Cloud, we have instructions on our website for verifying your ownership, covering many of the popular domain name registrars. In my case, my team doesn't yet have a domain, so I'm going to quickly purchase one. I'm going to walk you through the process using Google Domains. We discussed it among the team, and we like the domain name levelupfromzero.dev, so I'm going to check and see if it's available. Yep, it's available. I'll add it to the cart, and then quickly check out. Okay, I have the domain. So now let's go back to Cloud Identity. In Cloud Console, I'm still logged in with that trial account I mentioned earlier. So let's go to IAM and Admin, then Identity and Organization. Now I click Sign Up, and that will open the Cloud Identity Wizard for me. With the wizard open, I'll just start going through the steps. I'll call my business Level Up Productions and select a medium business size. I'm located in Japan, and I'll use my company email address as the recovery option for the Cloud Identity Admin account. Here is where I tell Cloud Identity about my domain name, levelupfromzero.dev. Here, this asks for my name, but since I'm making the company-wide Cloud Identity Super Admin account, I'm going to call it Level Up Admin. This makes it easy to distinguish from other team member accounts. Finally, I'll confirm, and now my Cloud Identity account is ready to go. All right, now that I have Cloud Identity set up, I need to validate that I own the domain name levelupfromzero.dev. I still have a tab open to domains.google where I can add the necessary text record. All I have to do is copy the Google site verification code from admin.google.com and put it in the custom resource records at the bottom of the DNS page in domains.google. Here, I select a text record type and paste in the data. The other fields can all be left as they are. Now, I click to verify the domain in Google Admin and give it a couple of minutes to finish. Great. If you want to get started adding users, you can do that here now, or you can do it later from the Google Admin page. Now it's time to set up an admin group for our company that we can add users to. These accounts will have full permissions in Google Cloud, and they're a good fit for your IT team members. From the Google Admin main page, click Groups and create a new group. Let's call this one Organization Admins with the alias org admins at levelupfromzero.dev. Here I'll add the admin account as the owner. These group permissions are fine as they are, and I will invite users to this group when needed. Now let's give Google Cloud Administrator permissions to the group I just created. Again, returning to the Cloud Console, in the IAM section, I now have this notification to select an organization, and I'll choose the domain I just added, levelupfromzero.dev. Now I click on IAM and then Add. Here I can add the org admins at levelupfromzero.dev group that I created in Google Admin. Scrolling down to Resource Manager, I'll grant it the Organization Administrator role. One thing to note is that by default, everyone in your Cloud Identity domain has permissions to create GCP billing accounts and projects. I'm going to create specific billing admin and project admin groups later, so in order to make things a bit more secure, I'll remove these permissions while I'm in here in the IAM section. Now I have an org admins group with permission to administer my Google Cloud usage, but I still haven't added any team members to the group. Back in Google Admin, I'll create new user accounts for the admin team members, starting with myself. I'll also make an account for Marku, another admin I work with. He specializes in IoT and ML and will need full control over our Google Cloud usage. This sends him a confirmation email where he can finish his account setup and change the password. Now back in the Groups section, I can click here to manage the members of the group. The plus sign lets me add myself and Marku to the org admins group. Those are the basics of using our own domain with Cloud Identity, creating an admin group, and adding members to that group. 
Now I can log into Google Cloud using my Joseph H at level up from zero dot dev account and manage our usage with all the permissions granted to the org admins group. We recommend that you save the Cloud Identity Super Admin account for use in recovery scenarios. Like your operating system admin or root account, you should only use it when necessary, and use the account assigned to you personally for your everyday tasks in Google Cloud. That's all for now. In upcoming episodes, we're going to use these admin accounts to create a GCP resource hierarchy and accounts for the rest of the company. If you like this kind of content, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you click on the bell, you'll be notified when the next episode is available. Thanks and see you next time.